IB Physics May 2024 time zone 1 SL paper 1 question 21 a variable resistor with a resistance range of 0 to 6 kilo ohms is connected in series with two resistors of fixed value 6 kilo ohms the cell in the circuit has an EMF of 18 volts and a negligible internal resistance what is the maximum range of potential difference that can be observed between x and y okay so there are multiple ways to solve this. I think one of the easiest is to think of Kirchhoff's voltage law, which states that the sum of the voltages, vol sum of the voltage different around any closed loop in a circuit is going to equal to zero. So consider the case where the resistor has its minimum resistance of zero. It has no resistance. Well, all of this 18 volts is going to be dissipated in these two resistors. So in each resistor, since these are of the same resistance, 9 volts is going to be dissipated. Because 9 plus 9 is equal to 18, or 18 divided by 2 is equal to 9. So we can eliminate A, we can eliminate B, it's either going to be C or D. Now we need to consider the maximum case of 6 kilo ohm resistance in this variable resistor. Well now instead of 2 of the same resistances, we have 3 of the same resistances. So instead of 9 volts, instead of 9 volts, it's going to be, well, 18 volts over 3 because it is e the, the voltage difference is equally distributed. So we have 18 over 3, which is 6 volts. So each, each um, resistor dissipates 6 volts of, so there we go, 6 volts for each. But now it is asking between x and y, and the total voltage between x and y is 6 volts plus 6 volts, so it's 12 volts. So the answer is going to be C. One other way to solve this is to use B equals IR. Consider the first case where the resistance is zero. While I is equal to V over R, V is equal to 18 volts, and R is R total. So we have six kilo ohms plus six kilo ohms, so a total of 12 kilo, kilo ohms when the resistance in the variable resistor is zero. So 18 over 12, that is going to give us in proper units, 1.5 milliamps. So that's for this first case, where the variable variable resistor is zero. So V sub one is going to equal to I times R sub one. I is this 1.5 milliamps, and R sub one is that. 6 kilo ohms. So if we multiply these, we get 9 volts. So that verifies our answer as C or D. Um, we don't have to do it for this one because, of course, here resistance is 0, so we don't have to consider it. But now let's consider the second case where we do have a resistance here and that resistance is going to be 6 kilo ohms. So I is equal to V over R. V stays the same, 18 volts. But our total resistance is going to change. We have 6 plus 6 plus 6, so 18 kilo ohms. So therefore, our current is 1 milliamp. So V1 is going to equal to 1 milliamp times 6 kilo ohms. This time it has a different current. And the voltage here is 6 volts. Now we need to consider the second resistor here, because now it does have resistance. So V sub 2 is equal to 
the current times r sub 2. And current is again 1 milliamp. Resistance is 6 kilo ohms. So the voltage is 6 volts. So the total voltage between x and y is 6 volts plus 6 volts, which is 12 volts. So yes, that verifies our answer as C.